I'm on site at the district, 4005 South Baldwin, Orion 48359, and I'm in the rear of the building, and to the right you can see a rooftop unit 2B, that's the economizer. And just past that we see a problem. Uh, we've got some ponding here on the uh, butyl rubber roof. Now it's not rained in two days, which means this water is from the last heavy rain we had, which is about three or four days ago. And this water should not be here. I walked into my office and had a few ceiling tiles that had collapsed onto the desk and the floor area. Caused quite a mess and I was struck because it hadn't rained in a few days. So that's two problems. The first one is this water is not escaping the roof in time. My uh, gut tells me that something's plugged. So I'm going to walk out here into the middle and uh, carefully because it's pretty slippery up here with all the bird and goose poop and whatever. And exactly, you can see here at the drain, it is 100% plugged up. So what I'm going to do is, uh, should have brought a rubber glove, but <laughs> no worries. I'm going to use my boot to try to get most of it. But the problem is, water is here, so I'm going to just uh, use my hand. You can literally hear it starting to soak in now. Hear that gurgling sound? Well, this uh, drain spout here, this guard, probably three inches tall. And as you can see, it's just doing its job. Simply by unplugging these holes here. Bit of a whirlpool here. Now it looks like it's loose. I don't know if it's supposed to be loose like that. I see some bolts here, some fittings. I'm going to hope that this cap doesn't just loosely sit in here. Oh, it looks like it is. So I'm going to leave it there because I don't want any of this debris to get down in there. And just to kind of pull back, you can see how easily this ponding is getting taken care of. Now that's only the first problem. The second problem is the fact that it leaked through the ceiling, which happened in my office, which is over in this area right here. So we're going to have to inspect all the rubber seams here and find out where that leak came from because it leaked in the men's bathroom and it also leaked in, the, in my office. And those two rooms are right next to each other, which are right in about this vicinity right here. We're standing right above my office and then over here is the men's bathroom um, you can see right there that's the stink pipe to the men's bathroom and the one past it is a stink pipe to the women's bathroom so I'm gonna guess that and I can see it right here I can see where the water came through look at that oh yeah look at that so that standing water, look at when I press, you can see that. Now, I've repaired all these myself about five years ago. That little patch there, that long strip there. So the good news is we do have what we need in house to put these patches down. But uh, evidently, it's time to comb through this area again and uh, let this dry out, comb through this area again and make sure that we don't have this happen again. Um, 
we put this silver stuff here too. You can see there's a patch there on top of the silver. So, you know, all these are all these things are treatable. Um, we're just gonna take a little material, some elbow grease. We're gonna go ahead and check this uh, drain here as well because something tells me with all this debris buildup. Whoa, I almost fell. Holy smokes, it's slippery over here. Gotta tread carefully. Uh, we're gonna have to get this taken care of. As you can see in there, that's solid. Look at that. I'm just reaching in there. And uh, there's no screen or anything. Look at that. That's just solid filth. You know, debris. So we're gonna have to disconnect this and unpack that. Um, I can see here, um, you can see it looks like maybe a patch came off. Not quite sure. But uh, we're going to take care of all of it. All right, thanks for watching. And it looks like we have a, another maintenance job to take care of. I'm going to get a squeegee while uh, this water's up here. I'm going to pour a squeegee all this water towards that drain and uh, prep it out for repair next week.